Imagine a world without the vibrant green of leaves or the colorful tapestry of flowers. This is a world without nitrogen and phosphorus. These elements, often hidden from our immediate view, are the unsung heroes of the plant kingdom. They are the fundamental building blocks of life, essential for plant growth and the foundation of our food chain. While we may marvel at the outward beauty of nature, it's the invisible dance of these elements that truly sustains life as we know it. Join me as we delve into the fascinating world of plant biology, exploring the unseen processes that underpin our very existence. The story of nitrogen's journey into the plant begins deep beneath the surface, in the bustling metropolis of the soil. Here, a vast network of roots acts as the plant's primary gateway to essential nutrients. But nitrogen, in its gaseous form, is a slippery character, unable to pass through the guarded gates of the plant's root system. It's here that the plant relies on the remarkable abilities of tiny allies, nitrogen-fixing bacteria. These microscopic marvels convert atmospheric nitrogen into a plant-usable form, ammonia. The bacteria, residing in specialized nodules on the roots of certain plants, act as interpreters, converting the nitrogen language into a dialect the plant can understand and utilize. This symbiotic relationship highlights the intricate web of interactions that sustain our planet. The conversion of nitrogen gas into ammonia is no small feat, requiring a specialized enzyme called nitrogenase. Once converted into ammonia, nitrogen embarks on its journey into the plant's intricate vascular system. This network of vessels, akin to our own circulatory system, transports essential nutrients and water throughout the plant. Having navigated the plant's vascular system, nitrogen now finds itself at the doorstep of a new frontier, the plant cell. Enclosed within each cell, a microscopic universe of organelles hums with activity. It's within these cellular factories that nitrogen will undergo further transformations. Imagine the cell membrane as a gatekeeper, regulating the flow of molecules in and out of this microscopic city. Nitrogen, now in the form of ammonium ions, passes through specialized protein channels embedded within this membrane. This selective permeability ensures that only the right molecules enter and exit the cell. Once inside, ammonium ions encounter the acidic environment of the vacuole. This large, fluid-filled sac within the cell acts as a storage reservoir for various molecules. Plants have evolved a strategy to neutralize this threat, utilizing ammonium ions as a buffering system to maintain a stable pH within the cell. Nitrogen's involvement in amino acid synthesis highlights its importance in building and maintaining the very fabric of life. The world of molecules is a dynamic one, a constant ballet of interactions governed by the laws of chemistry. Nitrogen, far from being a passive bystander, participates in this intricate dance. Understanding this molecular ballet is key to unraveling the secrets of plant growth and development. Imagine nitrogen atoms as tiny magnets, each possessing a slight positive charge in certain regions. These charged regions attract negatively charged regions of other molecules. This electrostatic attraction governs the interactions between nitrogen and other molecules within the plant cell. One such interaction occurs between nitrogen and the oxygen atoms of water molecules. Water, the universal solvent, plays a crucial role in plant life, facilitating nutrient transport and providing structural support. These interactions determine nitrogen's fate within the plant, influencing its incorporation into various biomolecules and ultimately contributing to the plant's growth and development. Nitrogen, though invisible to the naked eye, exerts a profound influence on the visible world, shaping the growth and development of plants in countless ways. It's the unseen architect behind the scenes, orchestrating the formation of leaves, stems, roots, and flowers. One of nitrogen's most critical roles is in the production of chlorophyll, the pigment that gives plants their characteristic green color. Chlorophyll is the maestro of photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into chemical energy. Without nitrogen, the orchestra of photosynthesis would fall silent. Nitrogen also plays a vital role in cell division and expansion, processes essential for plant growth. It is a key component of nucleic acids, the genetic blueprint of life. Furthermore, nitrogen contributes to the production of plant hormones, chemical messengers that regulate various physiological processes. This underscores the importance of ensuring an adequate supply of nitrogen in agricultural settings to maximize crop productivity and ensure food security. 
At the heart of nitrogen's importance in plant life lies its role in the synthesis of amino acids, the fundamental building blocks of proteins. Proteins are involved in virtually every aspect of plant growth and development. Amino acids contain both an amino group, NH2, and a carboxyl group, CO, along with a unique side chain. Nitrogen is a key component of the amino group, highlighting its essential role in the formation of these vital molecules. Plants possess the remarkable ability to synthesize all 20 amino acids required for protein synthesis. Nitrogen, therefore, plays an indirect yet crucial role in shaping the vast repertoire of proteins that underpin life itself. The intricate dance of molecules within a cell, including the synthesis of amino acids, requires energy. This energy comes in the form of ATP or adenosine triphosphate, the universal energy currency of life. ATP is a molecule brimming with potential energy, stored within the bonds that hold its three phosphate groups together. When these bonds are broken, energy is released, much like the release of energy when a coiled spring is suddenly let go. This released energy powers a wide array of cellular processes. In the context of amino acid synthesis, ATP provides the energy needed to drive the formation of new chemical bonds between atoms. The synthesis of ATP itself is an energy requiring process, primarily driven by the breakdown of glucose during cellular respiration. In the bustling marketplace of the cell, molecules are constantly being exchanged, transformed, and repurposed. One such exchange, crucial for amino acid synthesis, is transamination, a process that resembles a cellular swap meet. During transamination, an amino group, on NH2, is transferred from one molecule to another, facilitating the synthesis of new amino acids. The enzyme transaminase acts as a facilitator, overseeing the transfer of the amino group from the donor molecule to the recipient molecule. This exchange results in the formation of a new amino acid, ready to be incorporated into a growing protein chain. Transamination plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of amino acids within a cell. This intricate web of metabolic pathways ensures that the cell has a constant supply of the building blocks it needs to grow, divide, and carry out its essential functions. The synthesis of amino acids relies heavily on the precise orchestration of enzymes, the protein catalysts that drive virtually every chemical reaction within a cell. Enzymes act as molecular matchmakers, bringing together reactant molecules in a specific orientation that facilitates bond formation or breakage. Imagine an enzyme as a lock and its substrate, the molecule it acts upon, as a key. Only the correct key can fit into the lock and initiate the chemical reaction. This specificity ensures that the right reactions occur at the right time, preventing chaos within the cell. The activity of enzymes is tightly regulated by the cell ensuring that the right amount of each amino acid is produced at the right time. Among the 20 amino acids essential for life, glutamate stands out for its role in protein synthesis and its contribution to the taste and aroma of plants. Glutamate is a non-essential amino acid, meaning that plants can synthesize it themselves. In the realm of taste, glutamate is best known for its role as the precursor to umami, the fifth taste sensation. In plants, glutamate contributes to the characteristic flavors of many fruits and vegetables. Tomatoes owe their savory depth of flavor in part to their high glutamate content. Beyond its culinary contributions, glutamate plays a crucial role in plant metabolism. It serves as a precursor for the synthesis of other amino acids, as well as chlorophyll, the pigment essential for photosynthesis. Our journey into the invisible dance of nitrogen and phosphorus in agriculture has revealed a world of extraordinary complexity and beauty. This newfound knowledge is not merely an academic pursuit, it's a powerful tool for shaping a more sustainable and food secure future. By understanding the intricate ways in which plants utilize nitrogen and phosphorus, we can develop agricultural practices that optimize nutrient uptake, minimize waste, and reduce our reliance on synthetic fertilizers. Precision agriculture, guided by scientific insights, allows us to tailor fertilizer applications to the specific needs of each crop and soil type. Exploring alternative sources of nitrogen, such as nitrogen-fixing cover crops and biofertilizers, can reduce our dependence on energy-intensive synthetic fertilizers. By embracing these sustainable practices, we can nourish our planet while nourishing ourselves.
As we conclude our exploration of nitrogen and phosphorus in agriculture, let us marvel at the elegance and complexity of the chemistry that underpins life itself. From the smallest atom to the largest organism, the universe operates according to a set of fundamental laws. The dance of nitrogen and phosphorus in plants is a testament to this intricate interplay, a symphony of molecules orchestrated by billions of years of evolution. Understanding this chemistry is not just about deciphering the secrets of nature, it's about recognizing our interconnectedness with the natural world. The same elements that flow through plants also flow through us, linking us in a web of life that spans the globe. By nurturing our understanding of these processes, we can ensure a healthier and more sustainable future for generations to come.